here we are, still in hall 9.0 uh, 9 we're now uh, currently in, down the bottom floor. 9.1, thank you sir. Helping, helping hand here in the Ambienta, great to see. Um, and I've got a special guest here who's about to go on stage in the next few minutes, but ich bedanke mich für deine Zeit. Sag ein bisschen ein paar Wörter, wer du bist, was du machst und was du gleich vorträgst. Genau, mein Name ist Beatrix Gutmann, ich bin äh, Social Media Managerin bei den Karstadt Warenhäusern, eines der größten Warenhäuser in Deutschland und mache da das Social Media Marketing und da geht es in meinem Vortrag geht's darum, wie man den Einzelhandel und kleine und mittelständische Unternehmen an das Thema heranführen kann. Wie wichtig das ist, auch nicht nur für den großen Konzern, in dem ich arbeite, sondern auch unbedingt für kleinere Unternehmen. Und darum also die Weitergeben von Informationen und Erfahrungen aus, aus deiner, deiner Großhandelwelt, die auch relevant ist für die, für die Kleiner. Wunderbar. Und äh, Sie sind wo fund, äh, basiert? Wo, wo wohnen Sie? Wo kommen also in Essen, ähm, die Kaschat Filiale ist in, e also Zentrale ist in Essen und wir haben aber deutschlandweit Filialen. Wunderbar. Ambiente, wichtige Messe? Ambiente, sehr wichtige Messe. Thema Nachhaltigkeit haben wir gerade drüber gesprochen, glaube ich, hier ein wichtiges Thema. Und natürlich auch Thema äh, Digitalisierung für Unternehmen im Allgemeinen. Sehr, sehr spannend. Ich versuche es ein bisschen weiterzugeben auf, auf Englisch. Ich bedanke mich herzlich für die Zeit und viel Spaß auf die Bühne. Genieß es. So as we just heard for the German speakers, you understand what everything has just been discussed. But uh, her, her world, she works for a large um, supermarket chain here in Germany uh, as the digital and uh, communications leader uh, at Karstadt. And her talk is going to be about what it means to live and work and do business in 2019 in relation to social communications and using the diff different platforms to get a story out and to build brands, obviously. So. She's going to be talking about that. I've actually got the chance now, if I invite you to come back over here for me. Uh, we just had a chance to listen to the talk uh, about your architectural design agency. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Please introduce yourself to the Ambienta Facebook Live uh, viewers, uh, who you are, what you do, um, and sort of a little bit abbreviation of some of the things you just spoke about. Okay, uh, well, I'm the, the owner, founder, partner of Thoco Studio. Come on, you got a bit, bit of a better background yeah, here, sure. so they can see where we're standing. Other, I, I lost my other two associates, there are some place here. Uh, <laughs> Your helpers, that they've disappeared. <laughs> when the camera went on... <laughs> yeah, and well, what we do is we do uh, mainly architecture and interior design, really focus interior design on retail, restaurants and hotels. Mm -hmm. And various brands I saw as well. So can you maybe say a few experiences you've had with, with larger brands, but smaller brands? Obviously in these halls, there's not the, the really humongous uh, brands from around the world. It's more sort of smaller brands. Any tips yeah. and advice for, for people starting out on a venture of a new space or a new store? No, uh, majorly we've been working with uh, little brands. Uh, we had some contacts with major brands, but uh, we never built a project with them. Camp, Camp is a pretty big brand. <laughs> no, 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 but actually that was not a project of, of our, ourselves. You respect our that one. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it. And, and well, I think uh, well, that was where we were trying to explain no, that uh, it looks like tiny brands, they have a lot of problems to settle into city centers, into attiring uh, new clients and the attention of pedestrians. But we really think that they have a lot of advantages of being small brands, different, they can improve more character, personality, and may, to have a closer experience with clients instead of all these impersonal big brands that they're wonderful as well, but uh, you have to, to take your advantages and bet for them, no? <laughs> In your presentation, you spoke about the celebration of the products, putting them on display, and almost yeah. by sort of in my world of design, it's about taking away all the way the things that distract from the product. So, so by taking things away, it becomes a very, very different presence in the space. Can you say a few words about what that means of not just filling a room with stuff, actually filling it with very specific details can have a huge effect, have a huge effect on how the products are viewed. Yeah? But uh, you, you're, you mean just about products or whatever? The space, I mean, you, some of the space only have one product in a corner. And, 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 and what does that mean for, for, for a feeling in a space? Well, it's difficult. It, it really depends on what kind of product you're going to, to show. No? It, uh, imagine, for, for example, you're, you want to sell wine. You cannot put just one single bottle. It, no, it, it wouldn't look really, really nice. There you want to see all this wine together. And maybe one bottle would be uh, in a main corner for something. Mm -hmm. Uh, on the other hand, when we're talking about really nice design elements such as watches or shoes or furniture, 
uh, it's always uh, a good idea to give a little bit of space, no? let them breathe mm -hmm. and they let, let them show all their beauty. And are you going to be at the Ambienta for the rest of the day? Have you yeah, got any goals, any areas you're going to go and check out? Uh, I think hole number eight. They, somebody told me it was really interesting and we'll go now there. Cool. Okay. There's actually a, a Flamingo Hotel in hole number eight too. You're going to have a bit of a, if you get tired this afternoon, grab a coffee. There's actually a little hotel with beds. It's quite cool in hole eight. Where is it there? It's in hole eight as well. Okay, we'll have a look. <laughs> Keep you right. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it and uh, enjoy the rest of the Ambienta. Yeah? So the, the next talk's about to begin. I think what we're going to do is just maybe meander around this space so we can show you a bit of the, the position where we are. Uh, we'll go inside uh, and you can see lots of comfortable chairs. Some of the talks go for 10 minutes, some go for half an hour. So comfy, comfy furniture is important. And obviously, um, here's a great place to also meet different people. Uh, Like-minded people, if there's a topic uh, being discussed, things like uh, digital platforms, you're obviously going to meet more people who are interested in digital platforms and grab the grab the speakers I mean these type of events uh, are also fantastic because they make the people who are doing the <laughs> doing the discussions and, 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 and kicking off the dialogue they hang around for a while just like um, the presenter we just met you can talk with them grab them ask them a few questions